Human beings' infatuation with the unknown is well documented. Whether it's an animal we've never seen before or an area that's never been investigated, our curiosity typically gets the best of us, which is why outer space is such a mystery. And you better believe that NASA knows a lot more about it than they're letting us in on. What's up, Supreme fans? All that curiosity is why today we'll explore seven leaked photos NASA doesn't want the world to see. Trees on Mars For those with a keen eye focused overhead, one of the most intriguing places to turn our attention to is the big red planet called Mars. The fourth closest planet to the sun and the closest planet to Earth was named after the Roman god of war. There are many reasons why people are so enthralled with this place, and mostly because of our thinking that Mars could sustain human life if it were absolutely necessary. It's already been proven that Mars did have flowing water at one point, and some even believe that there could be oceans buried beneath the surface. But as far as we know, the oxygen level up there is only about 0.1%, meaning that there's no way humans can breathe on that surface without the aid of some kind of oxygen mask. Unless, of course, there was a way for the planet to naturally start producing oxygen. As far as down here on Earth, we know that the green plants, like trees, aid in that production as they release oxygen when they use the energy of the sun. So what if it were the same case with trees up on Mars? Check out this image that may just suggest that there may indeed be trees up there. Are these actual plants on the surface of the red planet? Some say yes, as these images made their rounds on the internet back in 2016. The conspiracy theorists jumped to conclusions that there may be forests up there that NASA was trying to hide from all of us. But as it turns out, at least according to the good folks over at NASA, this is simply an optical illusion. Some believe that NASA's explanation is just a cover-up, but unless any of you have a rocket ship so that we can go check out for ourselves, well, then we may never know the real truth. So before we move on, I've got to show you this crazy image that just came through the Supreme Mailbox. What in the world is happening here? Based on the color of the sand, I'm going to say that this picture was supposedly taken up on Mars as well. But what the heck is in that red circle? Some kind of robot or machine? It certainly is strange, but is it real? We'll let you be the judge of that. The sun's face. With Halloween right around the corner, things are about to get a bit revved up when it comes to horror movies, hoodie weather, and pumpkins. Seriously, this is the time of year where they start selling pumpkin spice everything. And for those who are really into the holiday, have you ever heard of a jack-o'-lantern? For those who don't know, these lanterns are made up from pumpkins that have been hollowed out with holes cut in one side to represent facial features. They're a bit creepy to look at, for sure, but fall right in line with the spirit of the Halloween season. Well, one image taken of the sun by NASA back in 2014 draws eerie comparisons to the popular lanterns, as it looks like features have been carved right into it, giving off the appearance of an eerie face on the surface of the sun. What in the world? Or what in the galaxy, I should say? When NASA released the pictures, which were captured on October 8th of 2014, they included the caption, Pumpkin Sun, and it's not difficult to see why they called it that. Pretty cool, huh? The Spoon on Mars. We'll travel back out to the red planet for this next number, which shouldn't be too surprising, as that's where almost all of NASA's attention seems to be directed lately. But check this out. Do you notice anything curious here? To set the stage, we're looking at an overhead view of Mars, and there in the sand, you can see some sort of an image that appears to be a spoon? <laughs> yeah, like the ones you use to eat the cereal or soup or whatever you like to eat. But why would this gigantic spoon be all the way up there? Well, the short answer is, it's not. Of course, NASA claims that this isn't the obvious, and no, no one is eating Chunky Campbell's all the way up there on the fourth planet from the sun. The simple answer is that this is just a landscape or rock formation that gives the appearance of a moon, and since human beings want to make everything ours, we did that here as well. The image was taken by the Curiosity rover back in 2016, and to this date, we're pretty sure they haven't uncovered a hidden steak, knife, or fork, just in case you were wondering. Space Invader. 
As you can see, things get pretty crazy up there in outer space, which shouldn't be too surprising considering that there's so much of it, and so little of it has actually been explored. There's also the fact that us humans need to, for a lack of a better term, humanize everything that we see, which is why we make spoons out of rocks and things out of nature. However, with all that said, this next image is super creepy, especially if you're a fan of vintage video games. The Hubble Space Telescope, at one time the largest telescope in the world, captured a very spooky image about six years ago. Fans of the classic video game Space Invaders state that this guy right here, in between all these stars, looks like it could be one of the enemies from the vintage game. And I've gotta say, they may not be that far off. Can you imagine if this were really a monster from that old game? Because that would mean there were some pretty tough aliens out there, and I for one just don't feel ready to deal with any of that. Alien City. We'll move on. During the summer of 2019, conspiracy theorists who were running out of conspiracies to formulate theories about got a hold of some very strange images that suggest we may not be as alone in this world as we originally thought. In images allegedly released by NASA, these square-shaped blocks were photographed on the dark side of the moon. Now, no, we're not talking about the song from Pink Floyd, but these pictures actually come from the dark side of the moon. Now, some say that these are structures Structures, even an entire city, depending on who you ask. And if there is indeed an alien city on the moon, whether it's ancient or not, well, that's pretty darn surprising and kind of scary. Now, I've got to admit, as much as I would be intrigued by the fact that there are alien races out there, I'm not so sure I'm ready for them to be discovered because, well, let's just say that aliens do exist. What if they're smarter than human beings? Doesn't that sound like it could get a little worrisome? I sure as heck do. Scott C. Waring, a known alien enthusiast, author, and conspiracy theorist, said that some of the objects were white reflective roofs of buildings that had openings that allow ships to come and go. Now that is scary. Strange Martian Rock so before we're able to move the show forward, we can't do anything until I offer up a great big old shout out to one of our most recent viewers and subscribers. Today's special recognition goes to none other than Mila Pose, who just the other day watched one of our shows and left a great comment telling us about how much she loves the channel. And we just love that. So thanks a lot. Late last year, the Curiosity rover on Mars captured images of something that looks rather unnatural all the way up there, but there may be some pretty simple explanations. This highly unusual and super shiny rock was photographed, and it immediately had the smart folks over at NASA doing some investigating. This super smooth and highly reflective alien rock that, at least in black and white, appears to be a brick of gold, could just be a meteorite. The true results of the lab test that the rover is capable of of performing aren't in yet, so we don't really have a clue as to what it really is. But of course, we'll take your best guesses down below. Do you want to get a shout out in one of our daily videos? Well, don't forget to drop a comment down below with the hashtag Supreme Family. Tomorrow could be your day. Now, let's get back to the topic. Faces on Mars. Our final picture of the day is one of the most disturbing things that I've ever seen in my life. The troubling thing, however, is that we all just sort of have to trust that these pictures really come from where they say they're coming from. We've done our best to ensure that these are all NASA certified, as unbelievable as that may be for some. But as far as we know, this final picture, again, comes from the surface of Mars. Now, check it out. These images represent what some people are saying are clearly faces embedded into the surface. What in the world? Faces on Mars? Well, yeah, at least that's what the claim is. The photo was taken by NASA's Viking 1 orbiter all the way back in late July of 1976. So what do you think happened here? Are there people buried just beneath the sand of Mars? And was this picture taken at the exact right time before they were lost to the elements forever? It's a bit scary to think that there were intelligent civilizations all the way up there, isn't it? A planet that, in theory, is pretty close to our very own Earth. If there were people up there, or Martians up there, then where are they now? Where did they go? Was there some sort of mass extinction event like we had down here on Earth all those 65 million years ago? Or is there a much simpler answer to what we're looking at? Like what NASA actually came out and said, which is simply that these are just a bunch of rocks. <laughs> I guess that could actually be the case as well. 
Now wait, before we finish up, did you forget to drop your comments down in the comment section? And that's today's video. If you like today's video, leave a thumbs up and share with all your friends. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you never have to miss out on any of our interesting videos ever again.